Not only did the LGBTQIA plus community come for Beyonce after her $24 million performance in homophobic Dubai. <laughs> But so did the womb inspectors who are convinced that she is pregnant with her 511th child. This would be great if the king herself had confirmed it. But without her confirmation, it highlights just how problematic womb inspectors are. A woman could simply be bloated or developing a fupa. And their go-to conclusion would be pregnancy. The same applies to when a woman becomes voluptuous or goes on hiatus. As we've seen with Megan Thee Stallion, who is rumored to be pregnant based on the hiatus she took after the Tory Lanez trial. I know spilling and sipping tea is fun, but personally, I feel that when it comes to something as sacred and delicate as pregnancy, People should pipe it down and give women an opportunity to have their own ta-da moment. Speaking of ta-da moments, Uncle Ron, who was P. Diddy, Beyonce and Jay-Z's bodyguard, appeared out of nowhere and decided to expose all three superstars. He said P. Diddy put out a hit on Biggie and persuaded him to head to a destination that would lead to his demise. He further went on to say that Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage is a loveless business deal centered around dirty money and dark power. He explains that Beyonce and Jay-Z would do anything and everything to get to and stay at the top, including betraying friends like Jay-Z did to Damon Dash and taking down colleagues like how Beyonce ended Miss Carrie Baby's career and had her twerking at random events for security guards who couldn't even recognize her. <laughs> He also expressed that the couple is evil and worships dark forces. As if that wasn't enough, he dropped a bomb when he mentioned that Beyonce is on drugs and that she's been on drugs for the longest of times. Hoo-wee! I guess that explains a lot of bizarre behavior. At the same time, I feel it's quite a reach, especially because I know how people get disgusted by the continuous success of others and would do and say 
anything at all just to bring them down. I was approached by Diddy to perform a hit on one of his artists, finding out that he wanted all the rights to all his catalogs. I turned him down because I also found out that very night that Biggie had plans of leaving Bad Boy. Jay-Z and Puffy wanted Biggie killed. Bottom line. You don't have to believe me. Believe the facts. Here's a man that wanted to leave Bad Boy. He wanted to do his own thing. He mentioned several times how he was tired of being used and abused. That he was bigger than Bad Boy itself. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got what you are, how you stepped on the many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. To remember, your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. Keep your threats up. I'm here today. And what I got to say, I'm going to say it. So don't don't, don't make idle threats to me. Because I ain't Biggie. Say I ain't Beanie Seagulls. I ain't Freeway. How you, you wrote all of them off the minute they did for you to get you to the top. All them writing for you. And then the minute you get a little taste of success, you wrote them off. You just totally said, I don't know. Say you don't know me. I dare you. I dare you. Remember, all the receipts, all the proof, the old school footage, I still have it. See, hardly nobody knows, but I say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bought. This is Uncle Ron. Just like I know how you guys started, I can put my foot down and make you, make it all go away. Promise you, you're playing with the wrong one now. But I do wonder why this man would randomly lie about these three celebrities in particular. Why now? What prompted all this wrath? Is he really lying about everything when he once was so close to these people? Or is there some truth to his utterances? Diddy has been dodgy and most people who've associated with him have either ended up hurt or dead. So I wouldn't put anything past him. Jay-Z has been exposed by a number of people, including Kanye and Damon Dash, for being a power-hungry traitor who groomed Beyonce and killed Aaliyah. Allegedly! So I do get why darkness would surround him. But Beyonce, Beyonce on the other hand, child. Hmm. Now that's my girl and she's in her own legendary lane. So it's incredibly difficult to say anything negative about her as she's a mysterious perfectionist who minds the business that pays her and loves on her beautiful family. 
but she's definitely had some shady moments. And after her collaboration with a number of African artists, these artists began to fade into the background as their careers lost momentum instead of gaining it. And there are people who think she used her dark powers to suck the star power out of them. Allegedly. <laughs> Hectic. Let me know what you think about each and every topic covered in this video. And I'll be back with another banger. Mwah!